The Goat House is back with week three power rankings, ranking every single NFL team from 32 to one every single week. This is the craziest week of power rankings we've ever had because the chaos, the movement. Remember, in my rankings, if you look good and you win, you move up. If you're struggling to win or struggling to look good, you're going to move down. Not the end of the year predictions, but let's take a look at the week three rankings. Like I said, there's a ton of movement this week, but not down here, not down at the bottom. The Panthers remain at 32 after another disappointing outing. Let's see if it's... Uh, Anything different. Let's see if they can rise up with Andy Dalton in there. Uh, at 31 is going to be the Giants. They they played well enough to win, but couldn't find a way. You know, if Gano wasn't injured, maybe they win, but couldn't find a way. They're going to remain at 31. The Broncos look like they have maybe the worst offensive football. They're down there, at least. They remain at 30. Commanders got a win. Not the prettiest win. You could argue they were kind of even with the Giants. Maybe you could even argue they got outplayed if the Giants actually had a kicker. Not enough to move them up. The Patriots have still looked better than them. The Patriots at 28 almost pulled off a win. They'd be 2-0, and and they would have soared up the rankings but couldn't find a way there. Uh, struggled a little bit in, the, in terms of pass defense, which is a little surprising. So they're at 28. 27, the Colts go down four spots. They're 0-2 in a disappointing outing, an underwhelming outing against Malik Willis, not Jordan Love. Couldn't stop the run, even though they knew it was coming. The run defense is so bad, which is surprising because typically it's good. Now Buckner's hurt. Richardson's struggling. Even the play calling I didn't think was great there. So they are at 27. At 26, the Titans are going to stay put. The Titans are 0-2, very close to being 2-0, but they're not. They can't execute. Will Levis struggling in moments. Offense line was a little better this week. The special teams has to be the worst in football, costing them some games. The defense looks great. They just cannot... They have flaws to them. They're sloppy and they can't finish games out, but they're actually an 0-2 team that's close to being 2-0 and they'd be ranked pretty high if they were 2-0. Got to win football games. At 25, the Chicago Bears go down seven spots and a lot of that, you'll see, is due to other teams just having to move up, but also... You know, the, Bear, the Bears are lucky to have a win right now. At least they do have one, but they're fortunate. They, they did get outplayed by the Titans in week one, so they haven't shown, like, full, complete football yet, so they haven't looked great. They've looked pretty damn good on defense. The offense looks, again, one of the worst in football. They're down to number 25, down seven spots. 24, the Jags are down a whopping eight spots. Uh, they're struggling right now. They did outplay the Dolphins in week one, but they lost at the end of the day. Um, so I thought that was something going into week two. Like, they, they lost, but they, they look kind of good. But turns out the Dolphins are bad. And and then they lose to the Browns. Very, very bad coaching, and Trevor Lawrence got to pick it up. They're down eight spots. They've been extremely disappointing. Eight spots down to number 24. 23, the Rams are down a whopping 10 spots. I don't think this would be happening if they weren't. I mean, they're unlucky right now. The whole team's injured. It sucks, you know, but if they were a little bit healthy, they maybe they would want beat the Lions and they wouldn't have got their ass beat against the Cardinals. But reality is they're 0-2 and they look kind of bad right now. And again, the excuse is they are very beat up. That's how a beat up, a depleted team looks, but that's what it is. So they are down 10 spots at 23. Unfortunate because that's a good football team if, if, they're, if they're healthy. 22, the Bengals are down eight spots and didn't want to move them down this much, to be honest, because they outplayed the Chiefs. They probably should have, won, should have won that game, but there's still some sloppiness, and they couldn't execute, they couldn't finish, and they lost. Part of it, other teams having to move up, other teams being 1-1 one and, one and looking good, other teams being 2-0 and oh that weren't expected to be 2-0, and oh, while the Bengals are 0-2, oh so they have to move down quite a bit. Eight spots, two number 22, you know, if I had to guess, they figure it out. They're going to be a good team. I think they could be a really good team this year, and they'll climb back up the power rankings. But again, that's not what my power rankings are. We're not assuming things here. We're living in the now. So they are another team that is down. 21. Browns are going to stay put. You know, still have that on the resume, that, you know, crushing loss to the Cowboys who didn't look that great this week. So that doesn't look as, you know... That didn't look too good on the resume, but they do beat the Jags this week, which was a little unexpected given the distractions going out with Deshaun Watson and them. So I thought they could have looked a little more dominant if they kept running the football a little bit more, insisting on passing a little too much. So it looked a little sketchy at times, but they find a way to win. They're at 21. 20, the Dolphins are down a whopping 11 spots. Uh, and it's based on how they're playing. It's really not based off the Tua injury. It's based on how they're playing. They got outplayed by the Jags in week one, but they won, so they stayed towards, you know, up higher, 11 spots higher. 
And in week two, they got completely destroyed by the Buffalo Bills. We talked about it. Tua was awful. The offensive line's awful. Mike McDaniel was awful. The run defense was worse than all of those. That is so many problems. And the receiver rotation was awful, too. They got to throw the ball to DuBose. They got to throw the ball to Robbie Chosen, whatever he's going by, Anderson. So that's a problem. They feel like a bad football team, whether their quarterback is in there or not. They're lucky to have a win. It, again, it's just what it. A lot of this with the power rankings based on how teams look, how what they feel like, and then winning and losing also matters. Uh, so they are down 11 spots because they're not playing well. Their quarterbacks hurt, and other teams are looking good and moving ahead of them. And it's going to be the same thing here at 13 spots for the Ravens. And people are going to people are going to go. You know the Ravens are better than this. I, I I do. If I had to predict for the rest of the year, that's my power rankings have never worked like that. They're weekly updated. We're living in them now. If you're 0 and 2 and you lose to the Raiders, and again, other teams are winning. Other teams have to move ahead of them. They're winning, looking good. If you're 0 and 2, you lose to the Raiders, you're going to go down. You're going to move down. So. I know there's going to be fans complaining. You're really not complaining at me. You're complaining at, the, at your team. Go get a win. Go look good while doing it. You will move up. So if I had to predict, the Ravens make their way back up. But they don't feel the same right now. This is where they belong. Disappointing loss there. They'll play the Cowboys this week. Somebody's going to get boosted a good amount from that. The, win, the winner is. The other one, probably going to be around this range. So just go out there and get a win. Run the football more. They didn't run the ball enough against the Raiders. They would have won if they did so, so they have an issue when relying on the passing game a little too much. Not that not that Lamar was awful in that game, throwing the ball, at not, not even close to awful. It's just disappointing. You're 0-2. You're going to be down here. We can't base things off the name just because they, they're the Baltimore Ravens. We're going to keep them at the top. No, we're not going to do that. 18, there's the Raiders. I mean, the Raiders you know, didn't look great in the first week, so they that's still kind of you know are on the resume, obviously. But they beat the Ravens. They outplay the Ravens. They beat the Ravens, and, and they look pretty good, at, you know, on defense. And uh, you know, Minshew was all right, and, and Devontae Adams, Brock Bowers. They look good. They find a way to close it out. Find a way to win that football game. They were the better team in the fourth quarter, and, and then they won the game. So, it's still, you know, not fully sold just because of that win. They are one and one, but having a win and beating the Ravens while the Ravens are zero and two, it almost feels like by default the Raiders have to be ahead of the Ravens in my system here at least. So they're up nine spots for that one, an upsetting uh, or a big-time upset uh, victory for them. 17, the Cardinals looked really good. I mean, uh, again, I, I say it over and over again, a big part of my power rankings, how you look, how, how I how I feel about you. The Cardinals looked really good. I know they played a depleted Rams team, but they looked good. And you go back to week one, I think they looked good in that game. They lost to the Bills, who we're going to see at the top, towards the top of these rankings. The Cardinals feel like a really solid football team. Is it early season stuff? Like, is it a mirage that happens a lot? Eh, we'll wait and see. Uh, but we're going to rank them based on how they look right now, and that's pretty good. They're going to go up eight spots to 17. Number 16, the Chargers up four spots. They handle business against the Raiders, which that in week one, which that win looks a little better right now. And then they handle business against the Panthers this week. Nothing ex super exciting about the Chargers, but they're winning football games. They're 2 0. They're up four spots. 15, the Falcons are up four spots. Yeah, lucky win against the Eagles last night. That was insane ending, but they still look good. You can see the chemistry and the improve the progression growing, improving as the as the game went on. They still have that bad loss against the Steelers, but they still played well, even though they got lucky against the Eagles and they won the game. You know, if they were two and zero right now, they'd be you know, you know, maybe towards the very top. Uh, but still, some things to work out. But they're heading; they're definitely heading in the right direction. I'm pretty confident about them going forward. But we'll wait and see. They're up four spots at number fifteen. Fourteen, the Steelers go up one spot. They're they're um, they're two and zero. Not the prettiest game against the Broncos. Defense has been pretty through two weeks. That Falcons win looks a little better right now as well. So impossible to have them lower than them. Uh, because they're 2-0 and and they beat them, uh, but they are at 14. 13, Seahawks up four spots, really got the offense going, the passing game going in that game. The Patriots look better than expected. Seahawks are 2-0, and so they will, they're a little sneaky. They'll be at number 13. 12, the Cowboys down five spots. Yeah, they got embarrassed by the Saints. 
Uh, so they had to move down a little bit there, but can't get completely crushed like these other teams because they still have that dominant win on the Browns who got a win this week. So that looks a little better. And the Saints look like one of the better teams in football right now. So, um, you know, they did get dominated, but just not enough to, you know, crush them in the rankings. It still feels like the Cowboys could be a pretty good team right now looking at that first win. And they did move the ball on the Saints. It's just in a really tough situation there in that one. But at the end of the day, you know, didn't look good. They lost. They're going to go down some fives typically a lot. But in this video, with some of these teams, it doesn't look like that. 11, the Jets are going to stay put. A close game with the Titans. Actually could have went either way. Uh, but they find a way to win. They look pretty decent on both sides of the ball. Not great on both sides of the ball, but pretty decent on both sides of the ball. Stay put at 11. Packers going to stay put at 10. Uh, an impressive win without their quarterback against the Colts. Running game looks good. Defense really picked it up. Uh, man, they'd be towards the very top if they found a way to, to win in Brazil. That was uh, a little sloppy, but they had it too. Uh, and now we get, we talked about a lot of the big fallers. Now we're going to get into the big risers. The Minnesota Vikings are up a whopping 13 spots. Uh, a pleasant surprise uh, so far early in the year. Is it going to last? We'll see. I'm a fan. I have my doubts. I don't know if it's going to last, but they do. They are better than expected. They do look good right now. And again, the power rankings are based on right now. You win, you look good, you go up. They're two and zero after a dominant win last week, and they and they out and then this week they outplay one of the best teams in football, the 49ers, and win the football game. So, and they're two and zero. So they are going to go up. You know, you look good and you win, you go up, and that's what what's going to happen here. They're going to go up a whopping 13 spots. They get maybe get some help. Maybe they help themselves. Maybe they get some help with some of these surprising teams not looking good. Uh, but they're number nine right now. We'll see if that if that lasts. The season will sort itself out. But the Saints are up a record high in my in my power ranking history. 16 spots. The graphics guy had to make some new arrows with some new numbers in there uh, for some of these teams. Uh, for you know for the Saints, the Vikings, and the Ravens, uh, a whopping 16 spots in. They look like one of the best teams in football right now. They're dominating. They dominated the Panthers, I guess Big Will, but they dominated the Cowboys, who had a dominant win in Week 1. So you, you, you completely crush a team that was towards the top of these rankings. You are going to move up. They're up 16 spots, number 8. The Saints and the Vikings, are they for real? Time will Team will start the game plan. Teams will start the game plan for them a little better. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Are they both better than expected? Yes. Are they both like ahead of schedule? Yes. Are they playing both playing great football and deserve to be in the top 10 today? Yes. But I do think, I don't think it's going to fully last. They, they could both be good throughout the seasons. I'm not saying they're going to go back to where we expect them to be, but teams will start the game plan for them a little properly. But let's see. Saints got a big one this week, and it happens to be against number seven, the Philadelphia Eagles, who tough one to rank. They go down two spots. Uh, they did get outgained. I was going to say they outplayed the Falcons. They probably did. They did enough to win the game, obviously. They did get outgained, uh, but I thought they outplayed and, and did enough to win that game. A, a very unlucky, but some still some sloppy. You know, Barkley got to catch the ball. What was the defense doing? Uh, but they are very close to being 2-0. and oh. But Eagles Saints this week is going to be – that's going to decide a lot in these power rankings. It's going to be huge. But it feel, still feels like the Eagles are a very good team, did enough to be 2-0. and oh. But they, 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 they moved down because they lost, you know. So it's not like we're not moving them. You know, it's not like we're going against what's happening here within this system. Uh, but they still have that win against the Packers while Jordan Love was in, and that was a uh, heavyweight battle, really, I think, in the NFC. So that that still holds some value there. Seven versus eight, Eagles versus Saints this week. You know, it's tough that A.J. Brown's out. We'll see. Uh, number six, the Lions are going to go down three spots. Yeah, tough loss against the Buccaneers. Good team in the Buccaneers, but they were – Pretty beat up on defense, especially in the secondaries. The Lions got to find a way to win that. They did outgain the Buccaneers. So they st the good thing is they still move the ball, but the bad thing is they lost when they should win, you know, at home given the situation. And God, they kind of put it on golf and he couldn't do it. But for the future of the regular season, I like where the Lions are at. You know, they can easily go back to playing their game. And that's kind of what fits this year. If you notice, there's less passing, less passing touchdowns. The running game is dominating because there's a lot of good running teams out there because they're runners, their system, and their offense line, but there's some really bad run defenses out there. So it really favors the Lions if they start playing their game. So I, I think they're kind of being sneaky, trying to add some different things to their game right now. So I, I, I'm not worried about them in the regular season, but you know, right now they're trying to figure out if they, the passing game can win them games alone, and that's maybe an issue like in a Super Bowl-type atmosphere, atmosphere. Excuse me, But Lions will be just fine, but losing that game, you're going to move down. 
uh, three spots, number six. And then there's the Bucks, who look really good right now. They're going to move up seven spots, so another big mover night, not quite as big as the Saints and the Vikings, but those teams are coming from lower. The Buccaneers were already up here, uh, and they beat the Lions. They they It didn't look pretty, but the defense, red zone defense was great. Baker was clutch. Chris Godwin was awesome, and they're hurt. They're de- almost depleted in the secondary they're depleted and they beat one of the better teams in football so they're going to sneak ahead of them they're going to go up seven spots to number five uh and then an interesting one here the 49ers go down two spots yeah they lose to the vikings they get outplayed to them i just don't see a whole lot to move the niners down a ton for me like we know they're playing you know there still was production against a good defense in the vikings you go back to week one they beat a good jets team no they don't just beat them they dominate them in week one i was saying that's the best team of football 49ers best team of football they have some weird matchup thing with the vikings with brian flores's defense uh, so it still feels like a very good football team so it's a little different than you know the cowboys or other teams moving down a bunch i still feel r- really good about what i'm seeing from the 49ers and again that week one Holds a lot of value still. So they're going to go down two spots. Don't get penalized too much here. They're at four. Out of the top three, Buffalo Bills up five spots. I thought about them number two. A really close battle between two and three. Really one, two, and three uh, because the Bills look so good. They dominate the Dolphins and they beat the, the Cardinals. Cardinals are a good football team, we, we can see now. And they beat them in week one. You still have some worries about the defense, specifically the run defense, but they're up five spots to number three. Uh, I'd say, you know, and I'm not sitting here saying uh, – predicting an outcome but I'd say the the Monday night game coming up against the Jags is an ultimate trap game so they got to be on their best game here that actually could be a good game even though they're a lot better than them um, so handle business there that one actually could hold some value if they pick up a win uh, for me but they're up five spots number three uh, and then number two is going to be the Texans up two spots my only knock on the Texans right now is they played the you know not who they played they can't control who they play but they did play the Colts and the Bears you know not the best teams and they completely outplayed those teams, but they barely won those games. So that's kind of my issue. What if you play a good team and you dominate them, but you let it slip through? You know, because you know the Bears had a chance. They got the ball back in that last drive. Like, what if you're playing? They play the Vikings this week, and they get a la- uh, one more chance. Do you lose the game? So those games that they completely outplay their opponent, I want them to finish those. That's a little. That's a little scary, but. Man, it's a good football team. They're explosive. They can, they hang on to wins. Uh, you know, passing games there, the running games there, uh, the the defense. They add a little another element to their game with the blitz. So uh, they can win on all phases. Uh, they are deserving of being number two right now. And then number one is still going to be the Kansas City Chiefs, who actually got outplayed by the Bengals. You know, I guess debatable. They were right there with the Bengals. They're clutch, though. They find Mahomes didn't play his best game. They didn't really play their best game at all, and they still found a way to win. So I think that means something as well. But that's what they do. They find ways to win. They have some injuries. Hollywood Brown going to be out for the year. They didn't have him yet, though, this year. Pacheco going to be out six to eight weeks. So that's that's pretty tough. Um, I will say it, a tough, tough blow for the Eagles because if they – that was a good game where they looked good for the most part against the Falcons. If they won that game, that we could be talking about that number two. Maybe they even hop the Chiefs if they end up like dominating that game. At times they look like that. So that was tough for the Eagles to let that one slip away. Um, you know, I, that's you know, Barkley dropping that ball, getting a little too cute with coaching, and then uh the defense at the end i don't know i don't know what what that was but that'll do it for the the most chaotic power rankings we've had but this is my system and how it works it makes the weekly updated part make sense to me so let me know your guys thoughts in the comments our week three picks video or pickums video is next every tuesday night check out our recap videos we graded every single team uh we had winners and losers check all that out please subscribe turn notifications on you will not regret that it's gonna do it Thanks for watching. Goodbye.